it going everyone and welcome back to the channel right I am pleased to say and I'm gonna put it here today's video is sponsored yeah I finally got one right what I'm using today is something I've not I brought um, I have been buying it for a while and um, I thought I'd reach out to them and picture um, an idea I've got for a video and then see if they wanted to um, send me some resin um, and here I am now making the video so you can probably guess they sent me some resin all right now is it this by these guys uh, I'll put the picture up here and that is the catalyst for some some clear cast resin and it is polyester yeah see polyester resin all right and um i'm going to use polyester resin because you know i haven't got a pressure pot um so this works best for me at the moment anyway um, they do um, normal epoxy resin as well. Um, if you email them, they'll send you the um, price list of all the different ones that they've got. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I, I use. And what I'm going to do today is, is basically I'm going to mix up, mix up some resin, but. I'm going to show you what happens if you put too much or too little of the catalyst. And actually, what I'll do is I'll move the camera and basically explain better. So I'll see you facing that way in a minute. So, right, here we are. All right, I'm going to keep a record of um, what colours I'm using. To set to show the um, different mixtures, but that is basically what I'm going to do. I'm going to do 100 mil of resin, and these are basically the amount of catalyst I'm going to be putting in with it. Now, the two mil is roughly is the amount that they recommend um, using so that's the one that's going to be the the base one to go by and I will mark it with the, on with these as well and um, so I'm guessing all's to do is mix up some resin and see how we go now right I am using some um, little disposable cups to basically mix it in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 100 mil in or 100 grams it's the same um, volume basically and then I'm going to pour some of it out into another cup to basically mix up a different colour let me just choose what colours are going to go with what so I'll bring you back in a second once I've jotted down everything I need to so there we go you probably can't see that but um, that's basically I've just now sectioned these out into um, the colours I'm going to do time to do some mixing now I would advise when using this stuff to um, basically do it in a well ventilated area and make sure you've got you've got some gloves as everyone knows resin is sticky and as you can probably see um with my mold i have put them in um, a silicon mold basically to just in case these molds do leak um then they ain't gonna go anywhere so right let's do 100 grams 
of resin. Or in my case, a bit extra. <laughs> Time to add the catalyst. Now they do provide you with a syringe. So you can do it out. So there we go. That is 0.5 catalyst. Make sure we get it all out. And make sure when you're mixing the resin that you mix it for a good amount of time. Right, well as you can see the purple is mixed. Now I said this was brown but it actually looks like a sort of like bronze colour. There we go. So it looks bronzish, bron bronze ish. <laughs> Get there in the end. So I'll leave that bit in there and uh, see how it turns out. Alright, so there's the first one done. Now I'm going to jump through and basically get them all knocked out and then I'll speed through and show you as I'm doing it and, and then um, I'll talk to you at the end. Well, once I've done all that. So, I'll see you in a sec. right folks there we go that is all of them mixed up but yeah there we all got are um if you're going to do this much resin make sure you are in a um a well ventilated area um i'm literally right by the back door so i've got all the wind um coming in uh, i've been at this now for about hour and a half and um i've left them in these cups I was going to do less volume, but I thought I'll do them in the cup so then we can look at them and see how they are um, as long as well as having these ones in the tubes. I'll keep you updated on how they've turned it out. Because I know by the time one of these are cured, these ones will be cured so I can take them out of there. So I guess that's another reason why I've left them in the cups. So I will see you all in the morning. See you in a bit. All right, how's it going, everyone? Right, I thought I'd have a come and um, have a quick look to see how they're they're getting on. So we've got the the one that I did with the point five. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's a bit squishy. Um, I'd say it's roughly been about four hours since I um. I did all these, so we got the, the one mil catalyst, that is hard, um, so we got the two mil, it's also rock hard, and we got the, what's this, the 3.5, Uh, that's it's hard, but it's still got a bit of squish in it. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I'm not too sure, but it's a bit squ bit squishy still. So we'll see how that is in the morning. And um, we've got the the five percent. 
I'm guessing this has heated up a little bit because the the um, cup itself's a bit like warped a little bit, I'd say. Um, but that is also hard. Uh, there's no squishing that whatsoever. And then we got the um, the ten. Now that is still squishy. So yeah, that's all I'm so far. I'll check back in the morning and see how the how they look. So see you in a bit. Right. These I've all now cured. Well, I'm shocking that it's done it because um, it is literally been about 24 hours since I've cast all these. Um, I don't have got this one out earlier. No, I can't do it. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demold all of them and basically see how they look. Um, but they're literally uh, all on the solid. Well, from the from the touch, um, they're all solid. So we'll see how they are once I've took them all out. So right, first up, we've got the um, one point five that had the catalyst, and as you can see. Um, It's solid, but it is a bit tacky. And I can sort of press it in a little. So I'm going to say that this isn't, it's cured, but it's not fully cured in that one. And then I've got the pen blank of it. And as you can see, it's bendy. So I'm going to give this one a couple more days. All right, so next up, we've got the 1% uh, catalyst. Now, it's not tacky, it's not letting me... Um, leave fingerprints like the other one but like I said the one percent and the two percent was the ones that um, I had a feeling would cure normally anyway um, it's slightly bendy I don't know if you can it's slight just slight so, you know, come tomorrow, that'll be done. So, there we go. That is the 2% one. It's hard. Not let me leave fingerprints. Um, not bendy at all, but like I said, the 2% one would have been the one that is the baseline because it's normally what I use anyway is 2% catalyst so right there we are that's the 3.5 catalyst and I'd say that is exactly the same as the 2 point uh, the two percent catalyst not bendy it's not really leaving um, fingerprint in it um, I wouldn't say that's bendy at all now I would try and put more bend in them but I am actually going to turn these to see how well they turn so that's the um, 5% for some reason, this one, it, 
It feels different. The strength, uh, it's, it's solid. Cheapen a little bit on the side, but I'll get round to that when it's doing the, um, when I put it on the lathe. Um, not bendy. So that one is basically ready to go. Right, well, this is the 10% one done. Now, if I had to set aside, this, it feels like rubber. You know, it's still slightly, you know, I can still move this a little bit. Yeah, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see that. I can see it. That is, and that's ten percent. So it's still got. It felt a bit tacky as I took it out the mold. Um. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give this another day to see if um, it firms up. What I'll do is I'll wait till tomorrow and see how these are. And then I will chuck them all on into pen kits and turn them. And then I'll also put these on the lathe and just um, face them off. And see how they look. So yeah, um, looks like I've got another day of waiting, but for you, it'll be in two seconds, so see you in a bit. Alright guys, well, that is all the pens turned, and you can probably see them all here. Um, I am going to quickly go through them um, as quick as possible, because I've got a feeling that this video is going to be um, a long one. Um, so, right. Oh yeah, also, um, when I'm talking about a certain pen, I will put something just here to show um, me turning the pen. Um, the 1% catalyst and the 2%, um, I've got no footage of because I did it in a live. And basically, these two pens are basically just the normal recommendation. All right, what I'll do is um, I'll put a picture up here of these because um, me showing you just like this and um, you won't get the the full aspect of how they look and um, so right the first off the um was it not five not point five percent all right i'll i'll put a picture here and um, this it cured just like the, the rest of them um, but took probably a day longer so if you're willing to wait that little bit extra then to be honest you can get away with like 0.5 catalyst the 3.5 oh by the way um turning these they're pretty much all the same um apart from the five percent it seemed to cut a lot easier if that makes any sense um but yeah they cured near enough all the, the same um the five point five was a day longer and i'd say the ten percent was a day longer um but you had the pretty much either a day or two days so, if you're willing to wait, then you might as well just put the 1% or the 0.5. You know, there's no point going up this high in Catalyst because it ain't going to make a difference. So, yeah, it, it, it's going to make no difference. Some people are going to think, well, that was the waste of time. Yes and no. Um... 
it's now video proof in a way what happens and basically nothing really um like i said the 0.5 and the 10 i'd say a day extra for it to cure um mind you i am in the house um so i don't really get affected by the cold i do a little bit but not a lot um but that's literally all, all of them and i will put pictures and footage of me turning all of them and showing what they look like but yeah um a big thanks to swindon composite supplies i think i pronounced that right um all links down below and um, go over check check them out um i'm gonna give them a big thanks for sending over the resin that like they, they didn't have to um because like i said i would have brought it myself but they sent it anyway um and i think that this video will be going up on their channel as well um i don't know um but i'll put a link to their channel down below as well so, but all, all the links to everything will be down below <laughs> so yeah if you enjoyed it put a thumbs up if you don't yeah <laughs> um so yeah thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe, share, and I will see you next time. Bye.